Hi everyone, I'm Dino with Mills Family Gardening. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. Today is March 18th and in this video I would like to compare two ways of sprouting sweet potato slips. So I have four sweet potatoes here. These are from our last year's harvest. We harvested them last November and we are in March right now. A lot of our sweet potatoes started sprouting already but I found four of them that have not so I decided to use them as an experiment. I'm going to use two methods of sprouting sweet potato slips. The first one is a paper towel method and the second one is a soil method. So I'm going to wet the paper towels and make them extra damp and then I'll simply wrap the paper towels around the sweet potato making sure to cover all of the sweet potato with a paper towel and then I'll place each sweet potato in a Ziploc bag. Now I'm going to use damp soil. I had to moisten it real well because it was extremely dry. My container doesn't have any holes in the bottom so I need to make sure I don't overwater the soil. So I'm simply going to place these two sweet potatoes on top of the soil, kind of push them into the soil and then I'll cover them with the lid like that to create humid and warm environment. And I'm going to keep both of them on top of the refrigerator so that they both would be in the same condition and I'll find the warmest spot in the fridge. And then we'll come back in a few days or maybe in a couple of weeks and see how they do. Let me say a couple of things about growing sweet potato slips. I noticed that when you take a young sweet potato that was harvested just recently, it takes much longer time to grow slips. But if you take an older potato that's set, for example, several months or three months after it was harvested and then you take that sweet potato and try to grow slips then there's a better chance that it will grow slips faster so you could buy organic sweet potato at a store and put them in a pantry for a month and just leave them there without touching them and after a month you take them and put them in a paper towel or damp soil and then there's a better chance that they will grow sweet potato slips faster. We actually made a full-length video last year about trying to grow sweet potato slips in a paper towel and one of our viewers tried this method and it seems like their sweet potato started rotting in the wet paper towel in a ziploc bag and here's one thing that I want to say about it. Sweet potatoes are prone to different diseases that can be caused by fungi or bacteria and the interesting thing is that those diseases are caused by humid and warm environment and that's the same environment that helps the sweet potatoes grow slips. So when you choose a sweet potato to grow slips from make sure you pick a potato that's the best looking one. It doesn't have any dark black brown or yellow spots. It's not soft. The skin color is not too pale and it's not watery. That means that this sweet potato is pretty healthy and there's a better chance it will grow healthy slips. And the sweet potatoes that have black or brown spots, they most likely will start rotting before growing the slips. Today is April 1st. It's been two weeks since we started our sweet potatoes and we have some interesting results. So far they have been sitting on top of the fridge in the same environment. These are our sweet potatoes that have been in the soil and you can see that they started growing slips, especially this one. They look nice. They also have nice root system. This sweet potato has started growing slips just recently you can see that little guy there and that's about all I don't see any more new slips here now let's look at our sweet potatoes in the paper towel I'm gonna get both of them out of the bag and unwrap them and that's interesting that the sweet potatoes in the paper towel haven't grown any slips yet. You can see this one, it actually started growing white roots, but still no signs of slips. At the same time, the sweet potato is not rotting. It looks like it's healthy. So I'm going to keep it in the paper towel and wait for it to start growing slips. Let's unwrap this one. I had to replace paper towels because the old ones ripped and created some holes. So this is the second one. You can see that it's only growing some roots, but really no signs of slips. And it looks like it's a pretty healthy sweet potato. So I'm going to keep it in the paper towel longer. 
or I can simply put them in the soil and they will start growing slips in the soil. If you watched our video last year, uh, in that video, the sweet potatoes that we put in the paper towel, they started growing slips faster. When the ones in the soil, they were a little behind. But here's what happened last year. Last year, they were in different environment. The sweet potatoes in the soil were sitting outside and the sweet potatoes in the paper towel were in the house on top of the fridge. So they were in much warmer and more controlled environment. That is why the sweet potatoes in the paper towel last year grew slips faster. And this year both sets of sweet potatoes were in the same environment and we can see that the sweet potatoes in the soil actually started growing roots faster. No matter what method you use, once the sweet potatoes start growing their slips, make sure to open the lid or get them out of the Ziploc bag and the paper towel and put them in the soil, keep the soil moist and put them under the grow light because if you don't put them under the grow light, here's what will happen. These sweet potatoes have been sitting in this box and they sprouted on their own without any grow lights and see how long the stem is. This is what happens when they don't get any light. For example, this branch and this one, they look much shorter and stockier because I put them under the grow light from the very beginning. Here's an effective way to increase your sweet potato yield and the number of sprouts or slips from one sweet potato and even one stem. For example, if you look at this stem here, you can see a lot of bumps right here. They look kind of like tomato stems. You know how in tomatoes they have a lot of bumps along the stems and when you put them in the soil or water then those bumps grow into roots. It works the same way with sweet potatoes. If you cut off a little piece of stem with little bumps in it and put it in water or moist soil then it will grow into roots and produce more slips. This is what I did a week ago. I cut off a little piece of a stem from the sweet potato and look at the roots. It grew roots pretty fast and so what I can do now is put it in soil and let it grow and all these leaves will grow longer and produce more stems and more slips. This is another one that I cut off a week ago. You can see there's grown roots and here are all the little leaves and eventually they will grow into more vines. With this little stem, I cut it off just yesterday and look at the roots. They already grew a little bit and you can see them more visibly. Let me get the other one. Here are the roots on this one. They still look pretty small, even though they are growing definitely. And when you cut off a piece of stem from the sweet potato slip, make sure that it has at least one set of leaves, because if you cut off just this part from here to there, then it's not gonna have any leaves and it really is not gonna grow anything. So make sure it has at least one set of leaves because that's where the new vine will start growing. Right now, all these sweet potato slips are feeding off these sweet potatoes, but at some point, the sweet potatoes are not gonna be enough to feed them. I think at this point, I would plant them in soil and let them grow and put them under the grow light or outside if it's warm enough and let them grow more slips. So this was an interesting experiment. I did not really expect the results the way we got them. Nevertheless, we have some sweet potato slips. This is great. And this is a great time to buy sweet potatoes in the store and keep them in the pantry for about three or four weeks. That way they will be ready to start growing slips. And once you put them in the soil or paper towel, they grow slips faster. Last year we planted our sweet potatoes in June after we harvested our potatoes in that raised bed. We're going to do the same this year. And we had a really nice harvest of sweet potatoes in the beginning of November where we live our average first frost date is about beginning of november so you need to plant according to your climate and growing zone when you need to start growing slips and plant your sweet potatoes in the ground i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did we would appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you soon bye bye